hello again and it's time to get ready for Royal Ascot so we'll start with the shirts now I never ever wear white shirts I just don't like them it's still probably our best-selling shirt we sell hundreds of them but unless it's for evening dress with a tuxedo I never do uh, so for Royal Ascot I'll be wearing a pale blue Bengal stripe or pencil stripe actually I should say that is with white collar and cuff and one tip put the cuff links in first double cuffs with chain links proper links I always crease mine down here so it looks sharp underneath the cuff and that's what we'll be starting with so we'll see you soon said before in other videos I have my shirts made extra long I cannot stand shirts when they come out so once mine are tucked in the staying in um, there we are I see a good decent sleeve length when the side of the coat takes up some of the sleeve and you move your arm forward it works out about right with the morning coat so there we are and we'll move on to the trousers so the trousers that I've chosen are a nine ounce uh, lightweight puppy tooth they have a high fishtail back with brace buttons sewn to the inside and they have two deep forward pleats if you're not wearing a belt traditionally the pleats should face forward and if you were wearing a belt which you never would with morning dress if it was a day suit your pleats should face outwards so two deep forward pleats with side adjusters and we'll put those on in a minute so then we need to fit the braces properly again these are easier if you button them onto the trousers before you put them on and then with the brass slides just slide those up so that they keep the trousers up nice and high this is traditional clothing so those trousers want to be reasonably high and then the shoe this is a plain black oxford by crockett and jones it's a shoe called connaught on last 215 they designed this shoe in 1961 they've never changed it and it's the year that they started to give their shoes uh, names this one is connaught 1961 never changed still my favorite uh, shoe for something like royal ascot uh, super plain understated you will see loafers there would i wear one no but that's not to say that it's incorrect but plain black oxford for me is the go-to shoe always with a shoe on Don't forget, gentlemen, to zip up your fly. So, as I've shown you before, don't lift your collar and break it. Just slide the tie underneath one side and slip it round. You'll soon get used to doing that and it, it stops you cracking the collar that's been pressed. Um, many questions of should I wear a Windsor knot for such a formal occasion in my book never I never wear one it's not to say that it's wrong we're all individual and you tie the knot that you like for me that knot is a four in hand nice simple knot we have a video on our page on that along with a half Windsor and a full Windsor and a Prince Albert but just a nice simple knot with a dimple took that rear blade into its keeper and then we have a coat and a vest and we'll show you the double breasted vest next so lightweight double breasted wool fresco vest Trousers are high and the vest is short. And I have put a few pounds on since this was made. And I've put um, a watch Albert into the top button hole. On there is a pocket watch. And on the other side, a cigar piercer. One in one and one in the other. And it just keeps it neat. And you can see uh, there's plenty of room to get my hands into my pockets without the vest being too long. A long vest will shorten your legs and there's nothing worse than a gap between the vest and the trousers. So the trousers cut high, lengthens your legs, 
short vest these out your shoulders and we'll show you the coat in a minute and next to the last our morning coat and in any garment like a morning coat or an evening coat not that i would be taking it off because you wouldn't be allowed in the royal enclosure with the outer coat but it's good to have your name in or initials just in case you did lose it a nice close fitting um, coat two buttons on the back in the panelled hussars back and just enough cuff length showing and silk top hat with a dipped and curled brim ascot band and bow and you certainly need a walking stick length umbrella because it is forecast rain and these are now running at quite a lot of money you want to protect it and your clothes and the, the good lady if you're with one so there we are that's getting ready for ascot 2023.